Hey there, maths fans. Uh, Simultaneous equations using the substitution method now. Um, now, the substitution method is uh, best used for solving simultaneous equations when either y is the subject uh, or x is the subject. So in this example here, y is the subject of one of the equations. So we can use the, the substitution method quite efficiently. So what is the substitution method? Well, basically, it says y equals x minus 2. I'm going to use that and substitute it into the other equation. By doing that, I make it so there's only one variable, one letter, in my equation. At the moment, I've got two letters in this equation, x's and y's. It's hard to solve. Once I've got just x's, I'm going to be able to solve it. So I'm going to take this information, y equals x minus 2, and I'm going to substitute it into that top equation. So 2x plus 4, and y is x minus 2, so I just replace the y with x minus 2, equals 25. Now I'm going to expand the brackets, 4 times x, 4 times minus 2, and I get 2x plus 4x minus 8 equals 25. Simplify that, 6x minus 8 equals 25, and add the 8, 6x equals 33, now I'm going to divide by 6 and I get x equals, I think it's 5.5, wobbly 5 there. Uh, so, just taking it back to that first step. The first step is to say, okay, y equals x minus 2, so we'll swap out the y in the other equation for what y equals, okay? And by doing that, we formed a, an equation that had only x's in it. I solved that to find x. Now, I'm not finished because in a simultaneous equation, I need to find x and y. So my last step is to substitute what I've got here, x is 5.5, into one of these equations. I'm going to substitute it into, if we call those equations 1 or 2, I'm going to substitute into equation 2. The reason being, the smaller numbers, it's going to be easier. So I've got y equals x, x is 5.5, and I'm going to subtract Two. So y equals 3.5. And you can check that through, uh, just make sure it works. 2 times x, well x is 5.5, 2 times 5.5 is 11, 4 times y, 4 times 3.5 is 14. Is 11 plus 14 25? Yes it is. Is y 3.5? Is 3.5 5.5 minus 2? Yes it is. We know we're correct. Okay. So that's the substitution method. You just swap out uh, the y in the first equation for what y equals. Uh, here's one for you to try. So pause the video, give this a go, see if you can find the solution. Okay, let's do it. y equals 9 minus 2x, so I'm going to substitute that into the first equation. 3x plus 2 lots of y, now y is 9 minus 2x equals 16. Let's expand the brackets. 2 times 9 and 2 times minus 2. So I get 3 plus 18 uh, minus 4x equals 16. 3x minus 4x is minus 1x plus 18 equals 16. Let's take away the 18 there and I get minus x equals minus 2, which means that x equals 2. So again, all I did was I took what y equaled and I swapped it in to the other equation. We haven't finished yet, so let's find what y equals. And we know that y equals 9 minus 2x. 9 minus 2 lots of 2 is 4. So y equals 9 minus 4. y equals 5. Let's check it works. 3 times x, 3 times 2 is 6, 2 times y, that's 10, 6 plus 10 is 16, it worked there. And does y equal 9 minus 2x? Well, 9 minus 2 times 2, that's 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, yeah, it works, we're happy. Okay, that is the substitution method.